Okay, here we are at 8880 Rubicon Drive. Absolutely prime location. Directly across from the lakefronts. On super quiet one-way Rubicon Drive. So that area up there, uh, the contractor and I believe that that's only accessible from that door. We didn't find a way inside the house to get up there. That could be included in the square footage that they're quoting for the home. Not sure. Yeah. So, entry. Garages. Garage one. Not tall garage doors. Just a note. And then extra space off here. There are gonna be some dark zones. So two garages, this is your entry. When I first got here, I walked the outside of the building and this wall is forever, it's big, and so is that one. The house has really got large dimensions on the sides and on the back. It's a big house. So this is an interior area, these kind of mystery zones, but you can see how organized this person is. Everything is coiled up and look, there's even an original R2-D2 in good shape. So, building materials, good sign. Um, this is samples of the exterior. This is like a temporary stage here, which is appropriate for the next comment that I just can't help but repeating, but here we are in the set of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. This is that back west facing wall. Huge amount of windows here. Big glue lamp above us with what are probably custom metal buckets. I've had to buy those before for a deck. And then here's the set of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Whoa. <laughs> Just a little piece of wood that flexed here. Uh, excuse me. And then two beds and a bath off of here. One closet, looks like there'd been a window there. That header is there. And then nice size bathroom here. Again, the work everywhere is clean. And then bedroom two, this is facing back toward the street. This is in a section of the house that pops out. So it's not a true square, but you can see what I'm talking about here. It's the driveway. Um, that vertical line there would be essentially a three-car garage. It would be a third car there, and then the two-car garages that you see. I'm not suggesting that you make this a three-car house, three-car garage house, but that's just to give you an idea of the space. So, okay, so that's all the obvious interior space with windows. And then, and by the way, one of the things I had mentioned is the volume. This volume is humongous. This is really tall. Um, that bookshelf is probably eight feet. So that to there is probably at least 16, maybe 18. So now we're on the, the entrance is over there. We saw this storage area. So now this is an interior section of the home. This is where the roof angle changes. The roof in this portion of the house faces, it goes down toward the east. And what the contractor was talking about was popping up from this wall here, a section through the roof that would go a certain height, you know, five, six feet or something, all windows to let light in on this side in the morning, because that'd be your Eastern morning light. So another huge voluminous space in here, and this is not the garage. I at first thought it was, but you can see how clean the framing is. It's substantial, a lot of it's pressure treated wood that they used in the exterior wall, at least by the entry they did. So, um, here we are, basically dead center in the house here. And there's the living area, kitchen to the left. And this is going to take us back to the entryway. <laughs> Garages are back here. So, there's your tour of the house.
Thanks again for visiting the Big Blue Lake.